What's going on, my mother freaking friends? It's your mother freaking Jack coming from the mother freaking basement. Today's video, we're going to be going over the Sunday Swap test net. This is a Dex built on Cardano. And yeah, the ghost chain has a Dex, so you're going to have to get over that fact. But this is a test net version. With that being said, I'm going to walk you through how to use it and my thoughts. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are on the testnet decks and first things you're going to do is going to head over to the beta guide. Now it's going to tell you you need to do a few things and I suggest just walking through this as it's pretty straightforward and it's going to get you all set up just like this video will, but we're going to also cover any issues you may run to in the video. So download NAMI browser extension, you are going to need a desktop PC for this for your available browser. Once you have it, create a wallet and get it up and going just so you have a wallet that you can interact with that you can type in the password do transactions with create a wallet if you don't know how to use nami i have a 30 minute guide on it it'll be linked down in the description but once you've created your wallet you're gonna have to connect your wallet now before you connect your wallet come over to the top here and go over to the top right click on this little icon press the settings button down here and go over to network and in network you're going to switch it over to testnet now you're on the test network. This is the network that this test Dex is running off of, so it's very important. And then to go back to your main wallet, uh, you're gonna see it's a T ADA T A, and then now you can go back and press connect. So click on the beta guide again, press connect. You're gonna have to acknowledge it, press NAMI, and a prompt's probably gonna come up to give you access to it. I've already pressed that prompt, but it's just accept the prompt. Uh, from NAMI Wallet and give access to this website, testnet.sundayswap.finance. Okay, so we've connected our wallet. We're going to go back to the beta guide, and it's going to say fund your wallet. Now, there is other ways you can fund your wallet with test data, but SundaySwap makes it easy. Just click on this button, and you're going to see you're about to receive 1,000 test data, 5,000 mint ice cream, 2,000 of this, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so we're going to press OK. These are not real assets, and then press fund wallet. Pretty simple. It's going to submit the queue for us to get our goodies and then we're going to get this test ADA, this test tokens and we'll be able to essentially interact with the decks from here on out. Alternatively, if this is taking way too long for you, you can come over to the faucet over here on cardano.org and I'll leave a link down in the description as well. And you can go over to TADA, paste in your address that you have in your NAMI wallet when you're on the test network, copy that paste it in here i've already done so don't need an api key just confirm that you're not a robot hopefully you aren't press ok request some funds and as you can see i've already got funds for the last 24 hours so i can't request more but there's a good chance you can get a thousand extra test data into your wallet and as you can see here from my test wallet i have gotten that extra 1000 if it loads ever and i've also have some leftover from a previous test network so what we can do now that we have test data is actually use the DEX. But before we use the DEX, you want to make sure you go over to your wallet, click on the top right, your little extension guy, and then scroll down here to collateral, click OK, and you're going to have to put up five test ADA to actually utilize the DEX and sign transactions with smart contracts. So go ahead and put up here your password and confirm that you want to submit collateral. You're going to need this enabled, so please go ahead and do so before proceeding if you want to actually use any of the key functionality of the DEX. I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. This might take a while considering the scoopers are offline right now, and we might not be able to do everything we want to with the DEX, but I can give you a good showcase around. So we're going to close that. And we're going to make sure we're in dark mode because that's the best mode. And then we're going to go over and see that there's a few options here. We have a portfolio, a swap, liquidity. Portfolio is basically just your asset, your wallet. And one thing I want to show you guys before we go too far into this guide is something that is really freaking cool. And that is the ADA handle integration. So in order to use this integration, you're going to have to have a testnet ADA handle in your wallet. You can go get one of those at testnet.adahandle.com slash mint and you can see i've reserved this one i've sent that test data to the address and i've minted my own test handle now you can go mint your own but i want to show you the integration just so you can get the idea of what i'm talking about basically what you can do is click on your wallet in the top here and you can choose a handle to integrate what i'm going to do is choose the handle i just minted and right here demonstration purposes only click on i love mom and now instead of my address there, it's just I love mom. Pretty simple and it's pretty awesome. Okay, so now someone could potentially send ADA 
from uh, their wallet, went to Tindergrade with Nami to I love mom and I'd get to that ADA back. Okay, this is test environment, but I think you get the point. So we've integrated ADA handle. That is pretty awesome. It doesn't matter too much right now, but it is pretty awesome to see that this DEX has already integrated it in just the test net. And it gives us a really good idea that I think ADA handle will be really useful, especially for making things simplified. Let's get back to the decks now, though. What can we do here? And what is the main functionality of the test net and the main purpose? In my opinion, it's the swap. And swapping is pretty simple. All you have to do is select the thing you want to swap. In this case, you can select ADA. That's the only thing you can initialize a swap with right now. And select what you want to get. So let's say I want to get, um, let's say I want to get some vanilla, okay? Right now, we can type in how much we're going to put in here. So we're going to put in 6.9 ADA and we're going to get 2.2. Now there's a slippage, um, but to be honest, it doesn't matter. So in the test network, we're just going to swap anyways. Uh, but normally, I don't think in a normal network, I probably wouldn't do this transaction. So let's press the swap button. You're going to see for 6.9 ADA, we get 2.2 back. You'll receive this or the transaction will not run, okay? This is an estimate, so it's not necessarily going to happen. It tells you all the information about the transaction and you can hold to swap. This kind of makes sure you've confirmed, release it, and bam, okay, confirmed. So now we're swapping, it's gonna build the transaction, and we're gonna have to also type it in on our NAMI wallet. We're just gonna have to sign the transaction real quick, and then it's gonna be off to the races. You're gonna see it costs us 11 test data, so a bit different than the 6.9 here. Um, but yeah, it's gonna you're gonna be able to see before you do it. You can press sign. Uh, that is that slippage coming into play. Um, most likely, we're gonna press confirm, and here we are. It's gonna go, and it's going to submit it, and everything's going to be probably gonna take a while, considering the transactions aren't going through right now with the scoopers down. But the process is still the same. And actually, it was submitted, and it, it, it did get through, and now we can view it on Cardano Scan if we want to and see everything about it, or we can just close this, go to the top, go to Transactions, and see that right here, pending, that we have a 6.9 ADA swap for Vanilla, and it is not submitted yet, or it's not really went through yet, but it is there, and we can see it. We can even cancel it, and we can even see failed ones. So it's pretty awesome, and so far, I think the testnet is running really smoothly, but there's a few more things we still have to go over for the testnet, and just kind of general idea that I think are pretty important. First things first, I highly encourage you guys to get that test data from the faucet if you can't get it from the Sunday Swap Starter Guide, and try out some swaps. Just mess around. Go over here. Uh, go in and test out with slippage, see what the actual results are, you know, put in 100 test data, see what comes out. So it says we're going to get 223, it says we're spending 100 ADA, press the swap button, you know, go over the price of what it all will cost, there's a deposit on it, you see there's a liquidity provider fee, there's a scooping fee, there's a transaction fee, so... There's a lot of things to see here, and there's a lot to learn just by messing around with the test net, so you're prepared for the main network. It's much easier for you to go into the protocol and actually test it for yourself than for me to explain every little detail. It's going to be a lot easier once you do it yourself, and you kind of mess around with different things so you can get a better understanding of what's going on. I'd highly recommend you doing that. Sign a few transactions, make a few swaps, test it around, even if you want, provide some liquidity, and see what it is like to actually use a DEX on Cardano. It's definitely a different experience from any of the minting NFTs or doing anything else on Cardano. It's a lot more clean, it's a lot more smooth in my opinion, and when you see these transactions submit, just know you might not get your test result back yet because these Sunday Swap scoopers are offline at the moment, but you can still submit things to be queued up into the swap. This is just the test net version, it should be a lot different than the main net, but uh, yeah, that's the idea. Another really important part about not just Sunday Swap, but any decks is the liquidity side of things. Now, I'm not going to explain all of this today, but what I want to show you guys is that you can add liquidity to the DEX and basically get a set fee for liquidity you provide. Now, what you can do when you're not providing liquidity, though, is you can choose which liquidity pool, if depending on what pair you're trying to buy, um, choose which one you use to swap with to get that fee right here lower. 
The swap should generically usually provide you the smaller fee, but what you can do is also, instead of swapping, is add liquidity to a specific pool to be a part of that fee. Uh, the easiest way to me to add liquidity would be to just go to the add liquidity button, select what you want to add liquidity to. So we're going to add liquidity for ADA and the mint pair. We're going to put up 100 ADA uh, and then we're going to see it's equivalent to 145 mint. We have 500 of that, 5,000 of that, 2,000 of the ADA. Select the fee that we want to participate in. So maybe we want to be in a pool that is 1% fee and then add liquidity. Once you do that, you're going to have to hold the deposit and you're going to sign a transaction and then you'll have liquidity added to that pool if it were to actually go through. But this is just the test net, so obviously it might be a bit slow. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole DEX for now. There's a lot of things that are still pending, including, you know, price charts and my portfolio. As you can see here, it looks pretty cool. We're going to be able to see TVL soon, total value locked. Uh, liquidity pools, fees earned, and liquidity positions. Right now, we don't have any liquidity positions officially. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed testing out the DEX, and I will be testing it out throughout the day. I encourage everyone to go on the DEX and try it out for themselves, as it's a really fun experience. And I also do think this is just more and more bullish for Cardano, seeing how smooth the test net is so far, and just how good the main net's going to be. It's going to be quite awesome. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also consider subscribing because I am going to be posting a lot of information on DEXs, DAPs, and all types of tutorials when they come out on Cardano. And you probably don't want to miss that as I'm going to be trying to be very active on these things and posting one to two times a day, tutorials, and learning a ton. So if you want to learn with me, please consider subscribing as there's going to be a lot of things to learn over the next one to two months on the Cardano ecosystem. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.